Funk Revolution now here. I am walking on the way to the studio and I did see something that I did want to address as soon as possible. And so my most recent video is my Five Nights at Freddy's movie review, which I gave a 10 out of 10. And it is a 10. That's not changing. But I'm learning that Scott Cawthorn, who apparently is the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's, he's a right-wing troll. He's an alt-right troll who's donated money to Trump, and he's pro-life, and he's just basically the least punk human being ever. And... Whoops. That's awkward. So I'm just trying to reconcile these two things. And I think I'll put it this way. The characters in Five Nights at Freddy's are their own creatures and they have nothing to do with their creator. Freddy Fazbear, Chica, Foxy, Mr. Cupcake, and Bonnie. If you watch the movie, you'll understand that it's pretty clear that the characters are, they're liberal. The characters are liberal. And maybe the bad guy, oh, the bad guy. Okay, so there are some bad guys in the movie. And they, that's probably where the Republican spirit is. But yeah, I'm a little sick to my stomach knowing that I gave a 10 out of 10 to a movie. But you know. Sometimes that's how art works. Sometimes, sometimes things just kind of are twisted like that. Especially a movie like Five Legs at Freddy. So those are my thoughts. My reaction to finding out Scott Th Cawthorn is a right winger and he made Five Nights at Freddy. So maybe illegally download the movie, but do not give money to it because I don't want him to get any money. But it seems to me pretty clear that Five Nights at Freddy's, the main characters are good people at their heart. And Scott Cawthorn is, well, I mean, it's a scary movie, so that would make sense, I guess, to an extent. He, he did all the scary stuff because he's a scary guy with no soul. So that's all. I'm about to get to the studio, so it's a beautiful fall day here in Brooklyn. Punk Revolution. Yeah.